Hey everybody, we are here for round two of our Dirty Pour series. So this time we are going to do a, we're going to try a Dirty Pour with, this is just acrylic paints except for one, which is my white, and it is a fluid, a fluid paint. And I thought we would try neon colors. I've never tried neons, I've always wanted to. So we're going to see how this turns out. I have my canvas here and I've just kind of covered it in white paint. It's one that that I, I did a painting a few days ago. Didn't like the way the painting turned out so I scraped it. So we are going to be using the Deco Art Americana Neons <clears throat> and I have got the, I'm going to try to tell you what these colors are, Thermal Green. I got all of these at Michael's by the way. This is Ultraviolet Neon. If I can get it to focus for you. This is Scorching Yellow and Sizzling Pink. So these are all, they say neon real big on the on the top. Um, I've mixed all of them but the pink because I wanted to show you again. Pink is kind of thick. So we're just going to, we're only going to mix these with water. I'm not using any, any glue, anything like that. It is going to be water only. So, and like I said, I've got the other, the other colors all mixed up. The white is, is a, a pouring, it's already a fluid, a fluid acrylic. So <clears throat> we can just get it right out of the bottle. And again, you want a thin pancake batter consistency, I guess. I don't really know how to tell you what kind of consistency. Um, as far as, to me, it's thin pancake batter. Not, not too thin, not too thick. You want it to flow down the cup. You want it to kind of do that right there. So, you want it to... When you put it on the side of your cup, you want it to drip down the cup like that. That makes sense. And another cup that I have stripped, it sat on my bench for, oh my gosh, it's probably been sitting there for six months at least. Um, and it's another one I've stripped and I just sanded it, washed it off, and then spray painted it white. I'm going to grab some gloves or apparently a glove because I don't have any more gloves. Okay, I had to pause you and go steal some gloves from my husband because I don't have any. So, we are going to layer these. Oh, and the white that we're using is the Artist Loft Ready to Pour Titanium White. So, um, don't remember where I got this cup. I think I got it from Stainless Depot. It is a 24 ounce uh, travel coffee mug. So I'm going to start with my purple. And again, we're just going to layer them in the cup just like we did before. Um, I think I'm going to do green next. Then we'll do some pink. yellow and you can layer these in the same order you can layer them different orders doesn't really matter so we're gonna actually this is kind of an experiment for me y'all because I'm gonna see how this turns out I've wanted to do these neon colors on a dirty pour cup forever and I just have never done it so okay so here's our cup of colors so I'm gonna pour from this side this time so hopefully you can let me try to adjust this where you can see it that way you can see it a little better I noticed in the last video it wasn't showing up quite as well. So again, 
pour over however you want. And I am not left handed, so. Get some of that purple and yellow in there. And you do not you do not have to use this whole cup of paint. I do this much paint because I'm putting it on the canvas as well. So you don't have to use all this paint. In fact, I'm probably think I'm going to stop right there. I'll use the rest of that paint for the canvas, but as as of right now, I kind of like the way this is coming out. So I think we're going to we're going to stop right there with the with the cup. Now I'm just going to scoop this this top part off so we don't have a big bubble at the bottom. And I think that actually kind of looks really cool. I wish I would have gotten a little bit more pink in there, but again, we can scoop and drip. If y'all have any colors that you want to try or you want me to try, just let me know in the comments. And we can definitely give some... I'm always up for trying new, new colors. So we can definitely give them a go. See how they come out. All right, we're going to take this. I'm going to uh, take this and kind of set it off to the side. Let me kind of spin that so you, I want to make sure I got all the sides as well. So, looks really cool. All right, so I'm going to set that off to the side over there. Try not to scrape any of that paint off. And then I am going to take the rest of my paint and just... Put it on this canvas and see what we come up with. And I'm just doing a little kind of ring ring pattern here. going to we're going to tilt this and see what happens hopefully it comes out pretty and doesn't do like the last painting did and crack and That last painting I didn't even want to show you guys because it was just, it, it cracks so bad. It was not pretty at all. And this one's kind of, white's kind of taken over on this one a little bit. Okay, so we have we have the white taking over quite a bit on this one. So I 
I think what I may do I'm just going to reuse this same cup but I am going to pour some more pink and purple in here maybe even the green <clears throat> and get a hold of that stick can't get a hold of it this out a little bit. My cups keep sticking to my paintings. Just putting that little bit of color on there since we And I know I said in the last video, I, I said that uh, I put the paintings and stuff on my uh, website for sale. Okay, the paintings, I don't. Tumblers, yes, I do. Paintings, I am not good enough yet to, um, to I'm not comfortable selling the paintings yet. I'm, uh, I'm still working on my technique, and I normally don't do a dirty pour over a painting, or a dirty pour on a cup over a canvas. So, I have some paintings that I will put on there that, that I've done and I'm happy with. But as far as these, I'm, I'm not putting these on my website yet. So, let me uh, take you down and I will show you these up close. Okay, here is our painting. So, it, it, it kind of turned out kind of cool. I like the little pops of green and purple in there. So, let me step back and show you. And then it doesn't look anything like our cup though. So, that's our cup. And I even ended up with a little bit of blue there. So, that is what we came up with. So, I'm going to let these dry. I'll get some epoxy on this cup and I will show you the dry parts. Hey guys, this is uh, our dried cup. Let me flip this on for you. This is how our dried cup turned out. And I've had some questions about how we finish these. So I am just going to show you so it's been about 24 hours since we did this cup and it's it's complete pretty much dry it's completely dry so i'm just going to go straight into um doing the epoxy and i am using maker flows uh flow epoxy i whoop y'all are closer than i thought you were so it's part one and a part two and this is fairly new for them um, so I've used it I've only used it once so far but I like it it doesn't create a ton of air bubbles I really like it so I'm just mixing equal parts of part one and part two. I'm doing, I'm actually doing um, 40 milliliters because I have another cup here that I have to put epoxy on. So we are, and I'm just using these little medicine cups. I don't know if you can see this or not because it's hard for me to hold it where I can show you what I'm doing but I just use these little medicine cups and I scoop my epoxy into a bigger container 
So I just make sure that I measure out equal, equal parts and then just make sure that I completely scrape this little medicine cup into the bigger, the bigger cup. Because if you don't make sure that you get as much of that out of that medicine cup as you can, your epoxy will, it won't cure correctly. So, I'll show you what I'm putting it in. I got these little cups here at the Dollar Tree. They're just little, like cocktail cups kind of, the little plastic cocktail cups cups and I think you get I think you get eight of them eight or ten of them something like that for dollar twenty five dollar twenty five tree so and then we are just gonna stir this up and get it on our cup and I did not spray this cup with any type of uh, clear coat sealer nothing it's strictly just the dried paint, so. Okay, I've got my epoxy all mixed up. Now we are just going to, I'm basically just gonna epoxy this cup like I would any, any other cup. Again, I did not spray this with anything. It's not, there's no clear coat on it. These gloves are terrible. I'm waiting for, I had to order some gloves, so I'm waiting for them to get here. So I'm stealing my husband's, shh, don't tell him. I'm stealing my husband's till mine get here. So after we're done epoxying this, I'm gonna show you guys what the painting turned out to look like. The painting looks absolutely nothing like this cup. And if you remember, I had to add um, I had to add that pink on there because it just got kind of muddled. Um, so, I'll, I mean, that, and I'm sorry, not pink. I had to add the green on there because it got kind of muddled. But it, it, it doesn't look anything like this cup. This cup actually kind of reminds me of like a... It's almost, it, it almost looks like a wood grain Halloween cup. It, because... But like a fun Halloween cup, not a scary Halloween cup, if that makes any sense. And my turner, for some reason, I moved it the other day, and now I've gotten it off balance. So I've got to hold it still for a second. And if you try this, um, this Flow Poxy from Maker Flow, it's, it is amazing epoxy. It... When you stir it, I mean, it creates bubbles just like every other epoxy, but this one, when you put it on the cup, the bubbles are pretty much gone. They pretty much dissipate. So another thing I wanted to show you guys, if you're, if you're new to this, when you're, um, and I meant to actually get this on camera, but I just, I, I forgot about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and epoxy this other cup and let y'all look at that one while I'm doing this, but, um, that the rim of this cup up here when you take it off of that plastic cup or whatever you you have it whatever you're holding your cup onto it's going to leave like a like a, a, a film up here and so what I do is I just take my craft knife and that easily easily cuts off if you've got a sharp um, exacto knife or craft knife or whatever whatever you use to clean the rims of your of your cups it I, I just go right around the very very top rim and I cut all that excess paint off sometimes I have that excess paint sometimes I don't have that paint so but you it's it's very easy to cut it off so whenever you pull this this cup off of the whatever you you have it you know, propped onto when you do your pour, just don't freak out when there's extra on top because it cuts off very easy. So, and if you don't have a craft knife, I mean, even, even a sharp, you know, paring knife will cut that off. It's, it's super, super easy to come off. So, and then whenever 
we are whenever the epoxy is cured this epoxy will cure in about an hour it's super super fast set um, it'll cure in about an hour so once it's cured and it has sat for probably a day I will um, I'll go in with my Dremel and clean up the rim and all that good stuff so that'll all be taken care of but as of right now there is the epoxy process on the cup and uh, I will come back when this is all dried and I will show you the final results so I will see you then okay everybody it has been about two hours I guess I let it spin a little bit longer but here is our let me back up here is our completed cup all we have to do now is just clean up this edge a little bit I still even have the thing in there clean up this edge a little bit and let this cure and this one is ready to go so I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, this was uh, number two of our Dirty Pour series. I'm working on getting ready for number three. It's going to be a dirty resin pour. So we'll we'll get started with that one as soon as I can uh, get it get it done and uploaded. And um, if you like this or you have any questions, anything like that, leave them in the comments. Again, if there's any color combinations you guys want me to try, let's try them. Leave them in the comments and, and we'll, we'll get on and do them and see if they work and see if they're pretty and, and see what happens. So, y'all make sure you like and subscribe so you can see more and I will see you next time. Bye! So, I just realized I didn't show you guys the dried painting. So, here's the dried painting. And it didn't turn out horrible, but I don't I don't know if I'm gonna keep it or not. I mean, maybe it'll match somebody's decor. I don't know. That part's kind of neat. But again, it turned out nothing like our cup, which looks like that. And I know it's because I had to add the pink and the green <clears throat> into that painting, but, and in hindsight, on this cup, I probably would have put more, I, I wouldn't have used yellow, I would have used blue instead. But, it's not too bad. They didn't turn out bad. The painting is eh, and the cup I kind of like, so. And that's it. I will see you guys in the next video, which will be number three of our Dirty Pour series. See you then. Bye.